Hey everyone, it's Vickerman, and we're back with EU4 Celtica. And we've just finished the 100 Years War. England is kind of in a mess from losing it. And our big goal is to try to build up a navy during these peace years that can at least hold its own against the British Navy. And a good thing is they are in a massive revolt at the moment. So hopefully that'll keep them distracted. The problem is we have a revolt as well. And it's in Cornwall. Which means we need a lot of ships in order to get over there. Which is terrible because it's going to cost us a lot of gold that we could be using on our heavy ships that we want to use to defeat England in 10 years. Okay, so... Alliances here, it, it'd be kind of nice to get in with Castile. Because they probably have the next biggest navy to England. All right, Castile. Oh no, they don't. They don't have any navy. Interesting. Portugal has only two ships. Does anyone really have any heavies besides England? Oh, England's lost some. They only have six. I was thinking we need to make at least 10. But, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that. I'd like to make as few as possible because they're very expensive, but... Yeah, and unfortunately we're going to have to do a naval landing here, and this is just a mess. We just lose, uh, lose 50 prestige. Hmm. Would that really help? Probably not. Oops, there you go. They've declared war on England. Uh, a request for military access from England. I wonder if doing so would make it more likely for... I suppose we can do that and maybe... We'll revoke it at some point. Okay. You guys are just terrible. We accepted your military access. But you won't give me yours. I'm very upset about that. Oh, we're still paused. Let's 
So we've got five cogs now. Rival of our rival. It's probably Provence. Not sure that's necessary. Our legitimacy is going up slowly. I think we'll wait to see if some other kind of mission shows up. Alright, so we got the Carex here. That really hurts the old uh, bottom line. I'm thinking maybe, maybe they'll want to go to Cornwall and they can take care of them for me. Use England to my advantage, perhaps. Okay, they got six heavy ships there. Got to be keeping an eye on that so we can outpace them, hopefully. Hopefully. It's going to take all of our resources, I fear. Okay, are we building more? I think maybe one more. We have 12 gold. Thank you very much. King of Burgundy has died. Perhaps France will intervene. Well, let's just try it out here. Oh, I still need one more gone. It's too bad. I'm hoping horses are not terrible. Transfer trade power for France. France would like to transfer 10% of our trade power and all our shared trade nodes to them. No. Why would I do that? All right, give it a shot. Wait, how'd they get over here? Get in there and kill him. All right, so. Defect. We'll try for some free trade. B 
because one of our national ideas gives us bonus global trade power. So we want to leverage that, I think. So is there a node going into England that we can get to that would be more profitable? Can we get to Lubeck? Probably not. Probably could once we upgrade. All right. Military tactics and land morale can now build armories. Which we should try to do when we get the chance. I think we'll split in half and And well, I wonder if uh, wonder if we went out to France if they would buy these. I think you can sell ships now. I want to sell you these. Oh, they're in debt. Okay, I guess... Well, does Brittany have any cash? Ah, no. Can't sell to a rival. Austria. They must have inherited uh, Burgundy. That would be interesting. That's going to put them in direct conflict with France much sooner, I think. Okay, they'll get they'll buy them for 20 each or is it 20 each no wait, 20 for all three well that's okay that way whoop we don't have enough yet Is anyone privateering, maybe? Does it show that somewhere? All right, so we really need these ideas unlocked really badly. We need to at least get to that one, I think. A loan is coming due. May as well repay these. Okay, let's, so let's... Uh, Go back here. Okay, they're still trying to get Cornwall back. As soon as they do that, we can go ahead and lower army maintenance. So that way we can get a little bit more over lower fleet maintenance too. Bring this into ports just just so it doesn't get destroyed. And we're ready for the next idea. And we just got morale of armies plus 10%. 
That is good. That is good. All right, so now we can go ahead and lower army maintenance to get as much. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Fleet maintenance will affect your trade power. So we ought not to do that. And we get naval maintenance modifier minus 5%. That is fantastic. They are catching on to my strategy here. Okay, I don't think we're going to get enough of that. We can go ahead and try to be friends with Savoy. Why not? Why not? Why not? Relations. I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Portugal would be an ally now. Is that a good idea? They are allied with Castile as well. Do they not like that we're allied with France? Are they apparently they don't care. That could be the way to go. Okay, they don't like that I'm allied with France, and they are allied with Brittany, who is a rival. And it looks like Scotland's getting eaten. So they're being guaranteed by France. The problem is influenza. Rumors say that sailors came back from a trip sick like hell, and the ones who didn't die on board, infested the whole city with their disease. It's time to act before the whole country dies from coughing and cold sweat. Uh, Ulster gets quarantine influenza minus 100% local trade. Oh, for how long? A year. Influenza. 75% chance it will spread to an... That's a high percent chance I think we'll just take that although that's really gonna hurt I think Ulster is a pretty good city there all right royal marriage from Portugal that is okay Apparently Portugal now has some kind of claim. National unrest, negative 2.83. That should be really good. All right, so are we close to this? All right, we're nearly ready to build a new ship. Looks like Meath is going to be the best place. Royal marriage with France is over. He has no legal heir. Uh, the Peasants' War in Castile. The Iberian Wedding, where among the possible options they went with, let us bind their dynasty to ours as their choice of action. 
Ah, so now Aragon is part of a personal union with Castile. And that basically means that Spain's going to come soon. So this is not a personal union. They just outright have Burgundy. I'm guessing they don't like us. Yes. Because of France. Friesland. Oh yes, I was thinking about allying the Hansa, right? Two of four diplomatic relations. Let's go ahead and improve their relationship. All right, so then we'll have three, yeah, three. Three heavy ships. England still has six. Could save some cash by getting rid of the advisor, but I don't think that's a great idea. Truce ends in 65. Okay, not sure if this is a great idea. Carrick is ready. Ah, so they took our Ar Denmark, they actually helped. That could be a problem. I don't want to build an armory because I want to build a heavy ship. We're not doing too bad with maintenance. We may actually be able to get a fleet going that is going to rival England. Of course, they won that war with... Scotland. Their manpower is still somewhat low, but... Hmm. Probably have to go over the force limit. Okay, so we can build temples and constables. I think temple is a great idea because it increases your tax, which I think will increase your force limit. How much are these things? 50 gold. Oh, man. So we also have light ships with bonus combat ability because of our idea groups. And the 
Hansa. They are at war. Savoy. They take a royal marriage. All right, force limit going up 25%. Should help out a lot. Oh, yes. Now if we could just afford to, to buy them. Uh, we can get an advisor. Or cash. We need cash. Let's build a ship. So that should be five more. Alright, they want us to insult Brittany. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy prestige and army tradition. Fourteen sixty nine. Yeah, if I could change Scotland from rival to England to be my rival, perhaps they would do the same. Suppose we aren't doing embargoes and such. Provence. That should help out the power projection. Yeah, if we get 25, we can get a free naval leader as well as our army leader. No, I don't accept that. What are you thinking? Now, France, have you been building ships too? You really should have. They have. We have more though. Are we producing one at the moment? Yes, which is great. Well, you know, with Good strategy. One less heavy ship can be okay if if you can get the light ships to also help out. All right, my friends, this is going to be the end of this episode. Hope you've been enjoying the series, and we'll be back with our dastardly plot to defeat England. Although that looks somewhat challenging, I see their army seems to have recovered. You know, the more I think about it, the more breaking a truce might not be a too bad. A, well, no, that's a bad idea. Because we need France with us as well, I think. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can outmaneuver them. See you in the next episode.